days after making yachting history world beating quarter tonner magic bus is back on water it's taken three years of restoration and for sailors and family of the original crew it's been an emotional relaunching chris chang reports <laughs> Three years after arriving back on home soil, Magic Bus is back where she belongs, on the water. Really? Yeah, a lot of relief. It's taken thousands of hours to restore the 1976 Quarter Ton Cup winner. One news was there when it arrived back in New Zealand in 2015, rescued from a San Francisco boatyard and days away from being scrapped. Dave Hurley painstakingly bringing Magic Bus back to its former glory. Old but new. From the original electronic fittings down to that gloriously 70s styled bell-bottom font. I mean, you've done a great job, it's just like it was on the day we launched it. Yeah, in January 1976, I think. Yeah, it's beautiful. I feel immensely proud, immensely proud of what Dave's done and immensely proud of the history in this boat and that the history has been kept alive for New Zealand sailing. The boat's designer Paul Whiting was tragically lost at sea in 1980. It's restoration, a special family moment. It is emotional, but it's happy emotion. It's a really, really happy emotion because my brother's no longer here, but um, his legacy is still going on, which is important. At that time, we had Paul Whiting, Bruce Farr, Laurie Davison and Ron Holland. They were the top of the world and they're all Kiwis. A chance for original crew members to reminisce. We peeled a spinnaker and I saw all the guys looking around and, because we had a different colour kite up. Jibed at the mark and amongst all these 20 guys they all fouled the jibes up and we just sailed off into the distance. It was great. Now 42 years after that famous win in Corpus Christi, Magic Bus can sail off into the distance once more. Chris Chang, One News. And that, my friend.